I love experimenting with macro photography. And this setup is a perfect example of what I mean. Over here, I've got my camera with a reverse mounted lens. I can experiment with that quite easily and get really close, which I might do in this setup. We have extension tubes here to increase the magnification factor of the macro lens, plus a magnifying glass on the end. We have a grunge background so we can add our own colors and we have a bunch of other ones here to play with. We've got the flash off camera and to the side and we're reusing something I've already used for macro photography but for a completely different purpose. This time the syringe or the hypodermic needle is going to be the subject in this photograph. So I've already taken a few photos of this setup and it's quite tricky because unfortunately this needle which I think cost about, I literally think it costs about 10 cents here, is not very well balanced. So I have to hold it down slightly, but I also want some water to come out of the end here and just hang on to the top. So I'm gonna set up my camera. Simple setup as always, we're gonna go and adjust our exposure so that we can see through live view so I'm not having to get in and do everything by my eye. And then I'm gonna put this needle into the center and I want it side on. So if you've ever looked at a hypodermic needle before, you'll see that it has this angular cut to the end to pierce the skin a little bit better. And I want that side to be visible in this scene. And I can see there that it's sharp, but I really have to hold on to this setup. Otherwise it's going to be moving and shaking too fast and the composition will change. I've added a pink background here, but I can experiment with this. Maybe I move this further back. Let's try that. And I'm squeezing the hypodermic needle just slightly because I want this drop to come out, but I don't want to lose it. And that looks quite good. So let's take this and see how this comes out. So to take the photo, it's really tricky because this depth of field is so shallow here. So take this photo, I'm gonna hold it there. I'm gonna adjust my settings back to F8, 100th of a second, one, uh, it's currently 800 ISO. I could probably change that in a little bit. Because I'm using live view, it won't take a photo. So I'm gonna turn live view off. I've adjusted my settings so it's set to 100th of a second, F8 and ISO 400. And I can take some photos. Now, the syringe looks really, really sharp, but the, the little bubble of water that came down the end started to go back inside the tube. So I'm gonna push it out a little bit further. Now it's a little bit blurry. Yeah, and you see just the slightest movement, you start to get a blurry result. So I'm gonna to have to go back and that's the thing with macro photography, you have a very, very shallow depth of field. So let's go back to live view. I'm gonna hold everything steady and that looks good. And let's see if we can get some more water. Oh, that's cool. What I'm trying to do now is as the water makes its way to the top of the syringe and it starts to get too heavy and the little ball that forms at the top, it slides down the syringe and just as it's about to go, I'm trying to take a photo, I can freeze that motion with the flash and then I get that really cool liquid drop rolling down the side of the syringe. Before I continue though, I think I'm gonna change the background. I'm not sure I like the pink. We have a light blue here that I've not used recently. Down slightly. Ooh, that's really cool. So we've got the water just moving down. It's slightly out of focus. I had to squeeze down on the syringe. I think we can do better than that, but that's a really cool shot if we can get it. So let's go back and focus again. It is really, really tricky because of the magnification factor here and the fact that we're so close to the subject that we are getting a very, very shallow depth of field, even at F8. I might change it to, let's try F16 and I'll just bring the flash power up. Stop. Let's see what that looks like. I'm sure it's out of focus, but that looks good. 
Maybe we can even go 22 and another stop of power on the flash. So what I'm doing there is I'm removing one stop of light from the aperture and I'm adding it back into the flash to keep that same exposure. That's a beautiful shot. I really managed to capture that water dripping out. The composition was changed slightly, went slightly to the left-hand side of the frame as I was pushing down on the syringe, but it's in perfect focus and that ball of water that comes out looks absolutely awesome with the texture in the background being highlighted. I really love how that's come out and I think I might try and do one more thing to it and that's to take another one of these clips and put it in so it's sideways. The reason for this is because the reflection that I see inside the ball of water is from this little clip in the frame and if I can remove that I think it'll make an even better photograph. So let's see if we can do that. In fact, I think it's probably worth getting a larger background. So these are A6, I have some A5 versions as well. So I'll grab those now. So here's the large A5 version, we'll change that out. Just because the, the water is gonna refract so much light in there. And let's see what this looks like. And there we have it, a crystal clear photograph of a super sharp syringe and a soft ball of water with a blurred background. It's a very simple setup and it just goes to show that anything can be used for macro photography. I'm really pleased with how this turned out. I wasn't actually planning on using this as a subject for this course, but I just was experimenting with it earlier. I thought, you know what, this would look really good with some water coming out of it. So there we have it. That is some needle photography with a drop of water coming out of the end. Thanks for watching.